Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy. I'm the 911 stitcher and my video is about cross stitching. Today is August 27th, Thursday, 2020. This is my video number 42. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you stopping by and hello to all my followers that come back and see my videos every week. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have to apologize for my voice. I um, am five days post-op from elbow surgery. How I'm sitting here, I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm actually doing really well. So I feel good right now. Very, very tired. Um, and uh, I've, ha I've had some ups and downs this week. I'll tell you a life update at the end. And uh, it's been quite a week for us. And um, But I feel pretty good. I feel good enough to do a video to tell you guys about some good cross-stitch news that's going on. And... Um, show you some progress. I have been able to do a little bit of stitching. And this month I'm doing August, animals in August. So all of my charts that I've been working on for the month of August have been animal themed. And it's been a lot of fun. It, animal are truly my absolute favorite cross stitch pieces to uh, stitch. So animals in August was perfect for me. September, I will be participating in sampler September. I will be stitching with Debbie from Creatively Yours. We're going to do Hoity Toity together. There is a stitch along. I forgot to write it down, but I'll put the link below. I wanna say it's Hoity Toity Silk Cell, maybe? I'll have to check. So, but it, there's just so much fun stuff coming up for Sampler September. I have a lot of cross-stitch news, and if I haven't already talked about this, this video is about cross-stitching. So join me, grab something to stitch on, grab something to drink. We'll have a lot of fun. And I hope everyone that is watching today feels that they're stitching with a friend because that's what I do the videos for is to make everyone feel welcome and to feel that they've got a friend in the living room with them stitching or in your craft room where you're wherever you're watching. I hope you know you're stitching with a friend. So anyways have fun stitching while I talk. <laughs> and again, I apologize for the voice. I'm only five days out um, post-op. So of course I had the breathing tube down my throat and I always have, when I get really, really tired as it is, I lose my voice. So this week's been particularly difficult for me with laryngitis because um, it has affected my, my throat. So hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can understand me. <laughs> So let's talk about some cross-stitching news. I wanted to mention a YouTuber who I just love. Her name is Melanie Ham. I'm sure you guys, a lot of you, if you're into crochet and quilting, you know who she is. She's got like 600,000 followers and she could really use our help right now. So even though she is, I don't know if she does cross-stitching. From what I've watched of her, she does quilting and crochet wonderful tutorials. Check her out. Um, but Melanie is really having a hard time right now. I wanted to mention her channel. If you go into not her last one, her last video, she does an update on her health. She's been recently diagnosed with cancer and they found a mass last year. I believe it was on her kidney, which I believe they got it all out. Everything was fine. And now it's come back. So she mentioned on her very last video, that you know her family could really use our support. She has an, an Amazon shop um, with some stitching goodies. She has books. I'm a huge book person. So I found some books I ordered off of Amazon. Actually, I'm ordering tonight. I have the list on my desk. She has quilting supplies, crochet supplies, kitchen goods, and um, different things on her Amazon shop. Now, I'm going to try and link down below in the description box the, her link to her Amazon store. If that doesn't work for some reason, then go to Melanie Ham. Again, you'll see all who she is. She's just the cutest thing. She's just beautiful. She's got a smile that lights up a video. So check her out and go to her Amazon shop. If you see some, maybe you need some scissors, maybe you see some books you might like, if you purchase off of her Amazon shop, her family gets a little bit of support. So I really wanted to mention that to everybody to try and maybe stop by her Amazon store and take a look. Again, I'll put the link below. If you can't find it, go to Melanie Ham's videos. The last video is her update on her health. That link in her description box is not lit up, so I couldn't get it to work. 
go to the one before that. Her video was about triangle quilt layout square, um, quilting, what is it? Half square triangle quilt layouts. Her Amazon shop link is active. So if you click it, it'll go straight to her link. So let's support her, you guys, because I think she could really use our help. Other cross stitch news, I want to tell you about Teresa Baird. She has offered, which you may have seen on one of my videos before, a free pattern. It's so beautiful. I'm going to show it here. If you go to her blog, she has set up a sewing sit, <laughs> sit, <laughs> a sewing set <laughs> for us to stitch for free. So I really, I wanted to tell you guys about that because I think that's just such a great thing that she did. Her pictures are beautiful. The finishes that she has put together. I, I don't know if she did them or someone else, but they're, it's a beautiful picture. Her blog, you're going to go to her blog to find the link to the free pattern to stitch these, um, the sewing set. It is Hearts Ease Exemplar Works, K-E-S, Works, dot blogspot dot com. So, I will put that link below, but anyway, her name is Teresa Baird. I appreciate so much the free the free chart that she put together for us and the beautiful picture and her email if you have any problems. Something I love about Teresa Baird, I have shown her charts before. I'm currently working on Antrim's Folly. She also has another one. It's Virginia Cumberland. It's a Virginia sampler. It's gorgeous. Her samplers are phenomenal. And again, Hearts Ease Exemplar Works. And I'll link her blog down below her and her email, heartseaseew.gmail.com. I've had a couple questions um, on the sampler that I'm working on, Antrim's Folly. She wrote back immediately. She's just the nicest person. She wants you to have no problem stitching her charts. So... Anyway, check it out if you're interested in the picture that I showed below. It is free. It's a gift from Teresa. Thank you so much, Teresa. Other floss tube news. I am so thrilled. I can't even begin to tell you. I will be doing a floss tube in the next, hopefully, month or so with Nicola Parkman from Hands Across the Sea. I received a message from her yesterday, and we had talked about doing a floss tube together, talking about samplers. I would love to talk to Nicola about um, the Bristol Orphanage samplers. I'd love to do like a little Q&A on her just to, to get to know Nicola a little bit better. And um, I, I think Hands Across the Sea is one of just such a phenomenal company and the designs are so beautiful. They are absolutely my favorite. And so watch for a floss tube with me and Nicola Parkman from Hands Across the Sea. Hopefully within a month or so, we don't know yet because I my um, this floss tube I'm doing now is just going to be a real quick one and very unorganized. So I, I'm hoping I feel a little bit better that uh, when I do our floss tube. And so it'll be sometime in the future. Watch for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Someone had asked on a previous video comment section about the canines that I show at the beginning of my floss tubes. Now, the canines are all different. They're from, from different agencies around the world. I believe the canine I'm showing on this video is from Wales. And um, he was able to save a boy, a little a child and his mother who got lost. And so every video, as you guys know, I worked for 27 years, three different police departments. And the last 20 years, I trained with the police canines. And I was so fortunate to be able to train with one of my favorite canine dogs ever. His name was Bruno, and he's featured on video number one. So every floss tube that I do, every YouTube video that I do, is I dedicate my video to a hardworking canine, police dog, rescue dog, um, you name it. I, I've got... I got bloodhounds lined up. They are, they are some of the most incredible search and rescue uh, assets that the, that the departments have. And I, it's just, they're a huge part of my life. They've always been a huge part of my life. And I love introducing the different departments and paying tribute to the fallen canine officers as, lo as well as honoring the ones that uh, do a great job and like this canine that I showed today. So every department is different. It's around the world. 
And some of the people have asked, oh, I didn't know you were from this department. Well, I'm not. I am from the very first videos department, which was Anaheim Police. That's where I came from. The next bit of news that I wanted to tell you guys about is from Al Forest. If you are an Al Forest fan like myself, they are doing a free stitch along, which I'm gonna show a picture here. It has to do with a hundred owls. And it, again, it is free. This stitch along is going to start the beginning, let's see, August 28th. The last part will be released on January 1st. After that, it says there will be another month to finish the work. You do not need to sign up. It is, the chart will measure 227 by 258 stitches. And let's see, she also said, we have established a tradition of launching a large free chart stitch along every year. They wanted to do it in April, but because of everything going on, they weren't able to do that. But there are exactly 100 owls in this design. There are large ones with all specific owl purposes, small, ornamental, and purely symbolic ones. It says that um, once a week on Fridays towards the evening Mos Moscow time, we will show a new part of the chart. So this is really fun. If you wanna participate and you love Al Forest like I do, it is a free stitch along on their website. Check them out. And again, it does start on August 28th. 100 owls. How cool is that? I think that is so fun. I love these designers that give us a free stitch along like that. I think it's just so cool. Um, okay, moving on. Giveaways. I mentioned in the last video, I've not gotten an email from the giveaway winner that was is to receive my chart. I finished A Perfect World by the Scarlet House. I keep wanting to say <laughs> something else. Scarlet House. So if you're interested in the chart, I did ask for people to put co a comment on the video before and I chose Jerry Hood. So Jerry, if you happen to be watching this video, you did win the chart. Again, it's a little wrinkly, but it's good to go and it's your chart if you would like it. So send me an email. My email address is stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R number five at AOL.com. You are the chart winner. So you are more than welcome to my chart if you'd like it. If I don't hear from you by the next video, I'll go ahead and pass and pick another one. So Jerry Hood, hopefully we hear from you. Let's talk about some finishes that I got in the mail. I have a whole box that came from my finisher named Kathy. I will put her information down below. She does a lot of my finishing for me. I like to try and do them myself sometimes, but I sure love when she, she does them for me because she does a better job. <laughs> so, but Kathy's information is in the drop box down below. I believe she said she was running about a month out. So um, if you have something you'd like to have Kathy finish, get a hold of her through email or she is on Facebook, Finishing by Kathy, I believe. I'll link it below. But I wanted to show you some more. Like I said, I have a whole box that arrived and I'm trying to show a couple each video. And last week I showed the spider. Last time I showed the crow, yield crow, the pillow that I loved. And today I'm gonna show Fa La 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 La. I believe this is Country Cottage Needleworks. I went and forgot to put that information on my list, but here's the finish. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, she did a beautiful, beautiful job. This was stitched on 32 count, nope, 28 count. And I believe it's an even weave, maybe like a Lugana. I changed the, if you can see in the green, there's sparkle. It was a DMC floss. I'll put the name of this chart down below, but isn't this cute? Let me show like this so you can really get a good look. Absolutely adorable. I am so thrilled with how she finished it. I really been wanting some little pillows and it's just perfect. Thank you so much, Kathy. Like I said, I think this is, if it's not Country Cottage, it's Little House Needleworks, but I'll put the link below of what the chart is, but isn't that cute? So that's finish number one that I wanted to show in this video. And I love how she added the little charm on the, on the bow. I love it. I also added the shiny green, the sparkly green thread. 
to the bottom where the candy, the little candies are. So that's the, this finish. I love it. And the next finish I wanted to show is um, a board. I, I don't know what these are called, like the tri-board, where it stands up. And this is another one I believe is Country Cottage Needleworks. You know, I think that's Little House now that I think about it. I'm getting the two confused, but this is my next finish. She used this beautiful cording around the top and I'm so thrilled. I am so, so thrilled with how she finished it. And again, it'll stand up so I can display it. Here's the back. Look at that fabric on the back. Isn't that gorgeous fabric? And what I did on this one is instead of French knots, I added beads. So you can see a little bit of beads on the eyes and the cookie to give it a little bling. I love bling. I love adding, oh, I added some bling here too. Little beads on the stockings. So that's my finish. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's just adorable. It's just perfect. I can't wait. I actually, I am displaying, I display Christmas and Halloween in my craft room year round. I don't, I want them out. I stitched them, I want them out. I'm proud of them. So anyway, that's my finish. So these are the two finish I was dying to show you guys. So, so cute. Love them. Okay, next I'm gonna show some progress, some stitching that I did uh, before my surgery. So again, I'm working on animals in August. The first one I wanted to show is by Thea or Tia Govinia, the German Shepherd. You guys know I have two German Shepherds. I do have a life update about one of them and I'll tell you guys about that at the end. But so this is my progress on this not a lot of progress right now i'm starting to work into his nose so you can't really see it but this is going to be his nose right here just kind of a blob right now <laughs> but that's my progress on the german shepherd next up i worked on a fan favorite a hands across the sea fan favorite and thomas 1854. I chose this because it does have animals. It's got birds. So I figured, you know what? It's got birds. It qualifies for animals in August. So I did put some work in. I got um, some work done up here and the lettering and a little bit more in here. I'm getting ready to start the bird. And the bird is so pretty. It's the smaller bird. This is my progress. It is on ale. 30, 32 count ale. So you can see I've started the over one, the lettering. And look at that floss. Isn't that gorgeous? Those colors. And again, this is on 32 count ale, I believe, with some of the most beautiful silks. I'm using these um, Soie d'Alger silks. And I was trying to show you some of the colors. They're kind of messy, but you get an idea of how beautiful these silks are. Just really pretty against this fabric. Here, I'll show you closer. So I'm happy with the color that I picked for the fabric. I had a hard time choosing because it's not listed in the chart. I looked online, I couldn't find it. I did see someone paired it with Lakeside. Is it the ex vintage exemplar? I think and it looks beautiful. So there's lots of different choices you can you can use for this, but I did choose the ale. I had someone pick it for me and I'm happy with it. I think the colors really pop on it. I think the silk is just so soft and buttery and I love it. So I'm happy I went with that. Next up, my next whip was Long Dog Sampler Anzac, the Australian New Zealand chart. I'm doing it all in black. I have a thing for black, I tell you. I have a thing for how gorgeous a chart looks all done in black. One of these days I'll venture out and do like a variegated, you know, real pretty blue or something. But for now, I'm, I'm real happy with what I chose. Here's my progress on Anzac. We've got some boxing kangaroos. <laughs> so I'm real happy with how that came out. Really, really pretty. And I'm working my way down. 
I'm also working on the semicircle. If you can see the stars, um, I love this. I, I am doing this on 32 count dusty road from Seraphim. And as you can see, I started up in here. So I've got this done and then I've got the kangaroos. I don't know if I'm going to go this way or if I'm going to start working into this because that looks kind of hard. But anyway, I think it came I think it's coming out really good. I'm really, really happy with it. Okay, another one I worked on. The last one is this one has a horse in it. It has sheep and some dogs. So it qualifies for Animal in August. It is Brenda Keys, the sampler company. It is called, I went to church sampler. This is the one I did a restart on because I wasn't crazy about the colors on the border. So I restarted it. I changed the fabric. Originally I was using taupe and now I'm using buttercream, which I love. I'm so happy with it. I am actually starting up in here and my progress for this week, I have to move real slow, <laughs> folding things and <laughs> there we go. There's my progress. So I will continue working to the right and start doing more border and filling in as I go. And again, this is, uh, I went to church sampler. There is a stitch along between me and my friend Becca. She is my stitchy home on YouTube. And the stitch along is called the Roving Eye Sal. And so you can see the top left is where I started. I was real excited to do that middle with a with the, my initials. I changed them to my initials. And there you go. You can kind of get an idea. I'm happy with it. I'm really, it's such a fun, easy stitch. It's going fast. So I'm happy with that. I think it's fun. Okay, so September. I'm going to be doing Sampler September. I'm really excited because you guys know I love samplers. I'll show you, uh, I have a stack of some that I'm going to be working on. So these are just a couple of them. There's going to be more, but I just grabbed a couple to show you. I'm going to continue working on Hoity Toity by Long Dog Sampler. And this is what it looks like. I'm using Mrs. Sadis Silks. She is from Spain and she's on Etsy. I really like the silks. I think they're beautiful. I started up in here. I don't have a lot done yet, but my progress and this fabric, I don't know what the fabric is. I want to say it's, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to put it below if I can remember. Uh, but it's beautiful. I love the fabric. And that's my progress. So this is also a stitch along with Debbie from Creatively Yours. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> she and I are going to be doing this together. She's also using Mrs. Seda Silks. And I'm doing 32 count. Why am I thinking this is Legacy? I think it's Legacy from Picture This Plus. So anyway, that's my start. You can see how beautiful the colors are. Lots of color changes. And I am hoping to continue with the border and maybe start on this motif here. Again, this is Stitch Along. I believe this the hashtag she said, Hoity Toity Silk Sal. I'll have to check. But that's in my future. Next on my future for Sampler September is Anne Grimshaw, 1818 by The Scarlet Letter, one of my favorite, favorite samplers. So that will be stitched this month coming up. I'm using Splendor Silk thread. I really like it. And my progress, just real quick, this fabric is huge. Hopefully I can lift it up. It's heavy. <laughs> it is this way. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It gave me some trouble. The one with the circle with the motif in the middle gave me a little bit of trouble. I had to rip the whole darn thing out 
because the thing about these samplers is that if something doesn't line up, I don't know if you can fudge it. I didn't want to take the chance. So I had to redo that whole thing. So Anne Grimshaw has given me a little bit of problems. Another sampler that I'll be focusing on for Sampler September is by the Fox and the Rabbit Designs, Charlotte Mills, 1844. And she's a pretty one. Isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. So that's one that I'm focusing on for September. Not much progress at all. This I believe is also ale by picture this plus there we go not much progress at all it's just a barely a, I think I worked on it one day so that'll get some love this coming month and definitely Mary 395 by hands across the sea is getting some love this month for sure sorry if the camera's shaking I <clears throat> have to be real careful with my arm <laughs> Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea. One of my absolute favorites. So this is gonna get some love. I've got the two top rows done, I think. Nope, I got the first row done. This is on a fabric I dyed myself. It is a 40 count. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. There we go. So that is my progress so far on Mary 395. I'm really happy with this. I think it's so pretty. These letters are a lot more stitching than you realize, especially the, the ones I'm starting right now. <clears throat> very, very detailed and a lot of stitching in those letters. So that's progress on Mary 395. <laughs> Let's take a look at some stash that I got in the last few weeks. I can't remember if I showed this one. I think I did, but just in case I didn't, the color red by GGR. This is so pretty. I think it'd look good in black, but I think I'm gonna keep it the original red. I'm real happy with Mary 395 that I just showed a few minutes ago. That is Belsoi Cranberry that I used on Mary 395. I really like that color. I think I'll probably use that for this one. So this is GGR, the color red. Two charts that I got off of Etsy, which now that I think about it, I don't have the Etsy shop name. It is God Bless Us Everyone by the Charles Dickens book. I actually, I had to go to Los Angeles right before my my surgery because I had to see my knee surgeon and they have a really nice bookstore there and I bought a Christmas Carol when I was there by by Charles Dickens the really nice gold lettering I believe the book is red anyway there is a stitch along coming up at the end of the year sometime in winter time I think she said by the girl that does the stitching book club on Instagram. I believe her Etsy shop is Sapphire Mountain Crafts, Sapphire MT Crafts. And then on Instagram, I think she's the Stitching Book Club. Currently, they're doing Frankenstein. Well, I'm waiting for A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol is my favorite Christmas movie. It is my fav one of my favorite books. So what I want, I told my husband that I wanted to find a really nice gold lettered book of A Christmas Carol for the stitch along that's going to be going on later in the year. And it is a Charles Dickens A Christmas Carol stitch along. So I wanted to order the book. I went to Los Angeles last week to see my knee surgeon and I was able to convince him to postpone my surgery for at least a few months. So yay. <laughs> anyway, back to cross stitch. <laughs> so I, um, ordered the Christmas Carol book so I can read along with everyone in the stitch along and work on the cross stitch as well at the same time. So right now that group is focusing on the Frankenstein. They're all reading the Frankenstein book and they have a stitch along going on that is Frankenstein related. So it's really a fun group. Check out on Instagram, a stitching book club and on Etsy, it is Sapphire Mountain MT 
crafts, I believe. It's really fun. If you need more information, just email me. So anyway, I'm addicted to a Christmas Carol. I always have been. My favorite version is the one with George C. Scott. And I ended up getting these two charts. Again, my printer does not, it doesn't print very well. So I'm gonna include a picture here. It says, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. London, 1843, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So I got that one off of Etsy. The next one I got is God Bless Us Everyone, 1843, Charles Dickens. And again, this does not really do it justice. I'll include a picture. Hopefully it comes out a little bit better. So I got these two. Let's see. I got some fabric. It is the fabric of the month from Victoria Motto. It is 32 count shadows. I got a half a yard. I'm in their club. Give you an idea of what this it's kind of a purpley color it kind of makes me think that what's that chart that everybody needed purple for a huckleberry farm by the blue flower that might be perfect for this because it is a tint of like it looks purpley not really coming up too true maybe that's a little bit better but anyway this was the victoria motto fabric of the month for july and i just got it this was a free one from Twin Peak Primitives just for a day. You can still purchase it. Happy fall, y'all. I can't wait for fall and cooler weather. Very cute by Twin Peak Primitives. They offered a one-time only, it was like one day free chart that they sent to everybody. If you fo follow them on Facebook and Instagram, sometimes you can get some really wonderful charts from them that they offer for free, just like this one. So I got that. Look at that pumpkin, that giant, that's a lot of stitching. <laughs> Another one I got, which I can't remember if I've already showed, Abbey Rose Yuletide on Thistle Hill. That's a pretty one. It's a little blurry, but it's pretty. You could see it. And an, I decided to get a kit. I happened to be on Amazon looking for something else and this kit popped up. And I thought, I have never had an anchor kit before. It comes with floss, it comes with fabric. And I thought, what better kit to advertise to me than an animal kit? <laughs> so I ended up getting this chart. I'll take it out of the, oh, maybe I can't, it's all folded up, but really nice kit. It is divided the colors already, so you don't have to do it. But here's the kit I got. Look at these animals, aren't they awesome? The owl, look at the owl. So there is some back stitching. It's not too terrible, but I'm anxious to try it. I don't know why I'm just into kits right now. I really like the German Shepherd kit, the Tia Govania kit. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I'm really liking that kit. And I decided to try another one. So this is a full on anchor kit that I got off of Amazon. It actually arrived from the United Kingdom. And I'll show you up close the animals. This is right up my alley. Anyway, I thought this kit was really, really cute. Look at that porcupine. Now that's probably a lot of backstitch in white or tan. So very cute. I got that kit. A, another kit that I got from Sassy Jacks is called Middle Mist Red Sampler by Sassafras Samplers. It was a kit advertised online with Swa d'Alger. I did not receive Swa d'Alger. I received MPIs, which they're pretty. They're, it's a pretty chart. I love the chart. It's beautiful. I wish the colors were just a tiny, tiny bit brighter, I guess. So I was curious to see what the um, Swa d'Alger silks looked like compared to the MPIs, but I'll just stitch it with MPIs. It's what it came with came with fabric, it came with the silks, and um, NPI is silk, I believe, right? Let's take a look. It's a pretty fabric. It's called, let's see, yep, needlepoint silk. I've never used these before, so um, We'll see how they are, but it's a really cute kit. This is a kit I bought about three months ago and I have not had a chance to show it. But anyway, that's really pretty. I like that. Sassafras samplers, it is Middle Mist 
red sampler and it all came together. I like that. Kits are fun because it's just right there ready. For, you could just start it right then and there. It's just really cool. Here's another one I got that I had no idea all these designers got together and made a sampler. This is called a Most Noble Pursuit Sampler Circle. It is primitive traditions, hands to work, bright needle, the work basket, praiseworthy stitches, Patricia Ann designs, with my needle, la di da, stitch and a prayer, and carriage house samplings. Look at that, isn't that just so beautiful? Look at those colors. But I didn't realize that each square was done by a different designer. So I found this on a stash unload, I believe, or Etsy, one of the two. But anyway, that's there's a closer look of what the, the scenes look like. So I got that. And I think that's about all for now, guys, because I'm getting a little bit tired and I wanted to give you a quick life, life update. I have had a pretty crummy week. <laughs> But this video is not going to be sad. I don't want anybody to feel sad after you watch the video. And because obviously 2020 has been really hard for my family and we've just keep the blows just keep coming. <laughs> I tell you, but we life update is I did have my elbow surgery on Saturday. I originally had thought about canceling it at the last minute, but because I had already had my COVID test, I already had my pre-op I had everything said everything was done and the Wednesday before my surgery my shepherd got ex my German shepherd monkey the one you've seen in videos he got extremely sick if you guys remember a couple videos back I mentioned he got sick we took him to the vet they thought it was his hips so I wasn't crazy about that doctor I wish he was more thorough because had we known and had he been a little bit more thorough we would have seen that um, had they done an abdominal scan at the time, Monkey had a very large mass on his spleen. And unfortunately, yesterday we did get the news that it is cancer. So Wednesday he had emergency surgery because he was his abdomen had filled with blood. And so a lot of people have been following what happened with him. Again, it was not his hips, it was a mass. And for those of you, I think this message is, is so important. If you have a large breed dog, spleen masses are extremely common in large breed dogs. And I didn't know that. Had I known that, I would have gotten both of my shepherds scanned yearly, if any, six months, yearly, whatever it took. But my last dog, my, my Labrador, I had her 14 and a half years, she passed away from a mass that burst in her abdomen. And again, she was 14 years old. She lived a really good life, but she could not be saved after that. So if you have a large breed dog, good idea to get the abdominal area scanned for masses and tumors, because if you can catch them early, if you can catch them when they're benign, they have every chance in the world at survival. So long story short, he went in for emergency surgery on Wednesday. He was there. They kept him while I had my surgery on Saturday and he was released on Sunday. So he's home. He's awesome. He's doing great. He's improving every day. And again, we did get the diagnosis that the mass was cancerous more than likely because of the type of tumor it was, it might come back. The spleen is gone and the good news is that the liver biopsy was negative. So good news that his abdominal area is clear now, but chances are it will return. And it's just a matter of when. And yesterday I cried my eyes out because even though I knew the diagnosis was gonna be cancerous, I, um, when you hear, when you get that phone call, it's like it changes everything. So I was sad and I cried my eyes out. And then I started thinking, you know what? Why am I crying? Why am I sad? He's not gone yet. His life was saved. He's here with me. So I'm happy. I, I don't care that his diagnosis was bad. I am just happy that he's alive 
and I get to spend more time with him and I'm grateful to the doctors that saved his life. So my German Shepherd's doing fine and that's how I'm gonna leave it and it's gonna be a positive thing now. He does see uh, canine oncology on Monday and that's okay. We're gonna do some treatment and some preventative things and if I get him another month, that's great. If I get him another year, it's even better. So all I know is right now I have him and that's good enough for me. If I can go downstairs and he's down there waiting for me. So like I said, I'm not leaving this video on a sad note. It's it's a happy thing. It's, he's He's gonna be okay right now, so. Okay guys, how about some new releases real quick? Let's show some and then I'm gonna go ahead and See you guys next week. I, I think I'm gonna try and do a sampler video this weekend. I know you guys have been looking forward to that. There's, I've gotten a lot of messages about that. So I will do a sampler video coming up. Let's start with some new releases. Twin Peak Primitives, they've got several. You know I love them. You know I'm really good friends with the two sisters from Twin Peak Primitives. So let's show Christmas Market. This is so cute. It reminds me of the Christmas Weihnachtsmarkt that is every year in Germany. I've gone to many of them. Unfortunately, the one we went to at Dutch Mania last December was so crowded. So we were there, but we didn't really get to shop a lot because it was so, so crowded. So this is Christmas Market by Twin Peak Primitives. The next one I wanted to show is called Coop Almanac. <laughs> cute, very, very cute. Then we have Legend of the Fall. These are all available on their Etsy shop. They're available on TwinPeakPrimitives.com. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram, because like I said, they're a lot of fun. They post a lot of fun things. And again, that free chart was a couple of weeks, last week, I believe it was. And it was so nice of them to offer that. So follow them on Facebook and Instagram. So the last one I wanted to show is called Bait Bauman Sampler. Beautiful, gorgeous sampler stitched by a friend of mine, Alice. Hi, Alice. <laughs> and the thing I want to mention also is that Alice, um, they posted I always share new releases in my Facebook group it's stitching 911 the numbers 911 on Facebook so if you want to follow new releases I usually post as many as I can we did show Alice's model picture so beautiful okay crochet a go go is on Etsy this one's I believe it's called autumn I don't know the exact name of this one but I wanted to show it because it's just so pretty Next we have Heart and Hand. They've had a couple of them, We Santa 2020. And they also showed one, it is called Creeping It Round, Bats, Cats, and Jacks. <laughs> Very cute. And the last one by Heart and Hand is called The Robin Sampler. It's really pretty. I have Two by uh, Mani Di Dona, they're from Italy. Happy Fall and Autumn Favorites. How about some more new releases? We've got Priscilla and Chelsea stitching with the housewives. Boo to you. And a, that is so cute, I love that. We also have the November truck release. You guys know that she does her monthly truck releases with November. Hello Pumpkin is another one. And Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I don't know for sure if that's the actual title, but that's what it says on the chart. It is so cute. I'm going to get that one too. Speaking of Priscilla and Chelsea, I have some of their new releases as giveaways. Giveaways are coming up in maybe the next video because I should be able to start moving my poor arm <laughs> and packaging up some goodies for you guys. So I do have some Priscilla and Chelsea to give away. I've got, I think I have an ink circles. I've got a sam couple samplers to give away. So stay tuned for the sampler video. I do have a Teresa Kogut to give away. 
lots of good stuff. I've had some really generous viewers send in some charts for you guys. And I've also purchased a few myself to give to you guys as well. I wanted to show one that I'm going to be buying called The Nutcracker by Bothy Threads. They said on their website that it's a new artist named Vesna Kornsek. And this is beautiful. I love the bright colors of The Nutcracker. I'm a Nutcracker fan. So I'll be getting that one from Bothy Threads. Kathy Barrick, we've got two from Kathy Barrick. Oh, no, we've got two and a punch needle I wanted to show. I am determined to get my two punch needle whips out and finish them because I miss punch needle. Kathy Barrick, Jack's Urn and Western Witch. Both really, really cute new releases. And we also have the punch needle one I wanted to show you, the Halloween bat. Kathy and her daughter, uh, hello from Liz Matthews, did a floss tube last week. I love when they do their videos together. I love Liz's videos as it is. And when the two of them are together, they are so much fun. So the last video they had together was Kathy's new releases. Here's another new release by Satsuma Street, Ghastly Greetings. How beautiful is this? Those colors on black, gorgeous, gorgeous. Another new release by a company called Whilst Iris Naps Designs. And that's Whilst, W-H-I-L-S-T. Whilst Iris Naps Designs. It's called he Emily Harbin 1824. They also have a website, well, I whilstirisnaps.com. So that's the new one by them called Emily Harbin 1824. That's pretty, simple and pretty. Two more. We've got Cottage Garden Samplings, Bless This Home. Isn't that beautiful? And we also have Hands Across the Sea, Mary Ann Diaper. She was only eight years old when she completed her sampler. It's amazing. Just, just totally, totally amazing. So that's it for new releases. I am going to go ahead and sign off because like I said, I'm getting really tired and it's time for me to lay on the couch for a while. <laughs> Sampler video coming this weekend. It is, I feel good enough to do another one. I just need to rest a few days. So I will definitely have the sampler video. I have sampler giveaways. So stay tuned. If you're into that, check that out this weekend. My next regular floss tube should be the following week. Join me in my fa uh, Facebook group. It is Stitching 911, and that's 911 numbers. It's a lot of fun. We do Zoom meetups sometimes. I always post new releases. We have wonderful group members that post their finishes and some progress that they have on their stitching. We also do giveaways on Stitching 911 on Facebook, so join me. Follow me on Instagram. 911 Stitcher is all spelled out. I think that's it. Thanks guys. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you we'll see you this weekend for the sampler video. Bye everybody.